and welcome to Forest New Life Church Harvest Festival. So I'm just going to quickly give a recap of what we shared today. As you can see, our fantastic harvest display, and we have just enjoyed celebrating together. So why do we have a harvest festival? Well, for me, it's a time where we draw together with the local community and give thanks to God for the harvest that the farmers have been able to gather and for the produce that we've been able to grow. And it's a time for us to reflect on what is it that I'm going to give thanks to God for today. So where we live, we live out in the countryside and we have a farmer next door to us, Farmer Dave, and he plows the fields. He goes out early in the morning and he's there plowing the fields and he's scattering the seeds and then he's gathering the crops. And it's something that we have so enjoyed as a family watching over the past 18 months. But as I was reflecting on Dave in his tractors and working out in the fields, so it reminded me of the story of the sower. And so I'm just going to read that to us this morning. So I'm going to read it to us from the NIV in Matthew chapter 13. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat in it, while all the people stood on the shore. And then he told them many things in a parable, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on the good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. So this is a parable that Jesus told. And we were thinking a little bit about that. What is a parable? Well, it's a story that has a meaning. And so we were just thinking about that. What is it that Jesus wants us to understand from the parable of the sower? What is it that he wants us to be able to step into and take away from this story? You see, in the story, Jesus talks about the, the different soils, doesn't he? He talks about the, the hard, stony path, the rocky path. He talks about how the sun scorches it up. And I was just reflecting on this story, and I was thinking, what is it about this story? And for me, the scattered seed reflects or represents Jesus. And those different soils and grounds where the seeds all fell, well, actually, they remind me of us, you and I, and how we respond to Jesus. How easy is it for us to get distracted? How easy is it for us to just have a moment with God or an encounter with God and then we just get on with our lives and get busy? You see, I think for some of us, we've got stuck. I think we've just got stuck and forgotten what it is to um, be growing in our love for Jesus and in our faith. And, you know, see, Jesus, he says in this story, he says, you know, if you have ears, now listen. And really what he's saying is, you know, we need to take a moment to just think, just to pause and ask ourselves that question. Where am I today? Is my heart open to God? And I think that's what I'm just going to challenge you with today. You know, where are you today with God? You see, Jesus said he came that we would have life and live life to the full. But if we're stuck, then we're not living life to the full. So I'm just going to leave that with you, that thought over this coming week. You take time to read the passage uh, in Matthew and reflect on it. And ask your heavenly father, say, Father, is my heart open to you today? Am I living life to the full? Let's just pray. Father, I thank you that you are a good heavenly father who has blessed us with so much goodness of the land. Yet, Father, I ask that over this season of the autumn and this season of harvest, 
that we would take time to reflect. Take time to reflect. Father, am I open to you? Am I planted in good soil? Am I growing in my faith? So, Father, I ask that you bless each and everyone today. In the name of Jesus, amen.